Do you think landfall is too basic? Do you just want to play the game ramp and ramp B gameplay? Did that make any sense? I don't know. But with Barrow Fist of Krosa, that's that's what we're doing. So it's one of our forests comes into play. Green creatures you control get plus one, plus one, and gain trample until end of turn. So it just means you're going to ramp this out, have stuff out, and then ramp more to then more, but then ramp, and then it, creatures get the big. It's green ramp, but better. But what are you going to ramp into? Oh, you're going to ramp into stuff like Awake. Awaken the Woods, which is create X-1-1 one, one green forest dryad land creature tokens. So, they're forests, but they're creatures, meaning they get big, meaning if you have concordant crossroads, all creatures have haste. That means that as long as you have concordant crossroads out, you just dump all your mana into Awaken the Woods, which means you throw out all of their... Uh, all the dryads or whatever, they're basically dryad arbors. It's, it's literally a dryad arbor. But... You throw it out, it's a forest. So the forests enter, but it's also a creature, meaning they get plus one, plus one, and trample for each forest that entered, meaning you're creating a giant army with just one card. All right, I feel like I gotta sneeze. Oh no. Oh. Um, uh, it's the worst feeling ever. So yeah, Awake in the Woods, that's a, that's a win con. You got stuff like Ant Queen, cause you're gonna have a lot, you're gonna have a lot of a lot of ramp stuff, but you don't want to. You don't want to get rid of the uh, get rid of the tempo. So you're just gonna dump all your mana into this. You can pay. So it's a five mana five five whatever. But you can pay two and put a one one insect out. So you can just keep you can just keep pumping it into this. So in case you don't have you're starting to run out of gas, you could just keep throwing out a bunch of one ones. So whenever you get a forest, you can just bump well. Uh, pump them all up and then they're, they're nice and good also titania nature's forest i'm actually making this deck soon get be prepared for that deck but what if you play forest uh, you uh get a five three and you can play forest from your graveyard or whatever an elemental dies then you can you may mill three cards so you can just keep playing forest from your graveyard in case you want to do that which i don't i don't know why you would in this deck but you could you, you always could also, Staff of Titania is pretty good because whenever this thing attacks, you create a 1-1 one, one green forest dryad land creature token, meaning you get a forest, which means everything gets plus one, plus one, and a trample on because of that. But also, this equipped creature gets plus X plus X, where X is the number of forests you control, meaning it's going to be a big boy, and you're just going to throw it on whatever you want, and it's going to be a really big boy. Uh, but yeah, so you have the Awake in the Woods, you have the Ant Queen, you have... Avenger of Zenkar, which is enters the battlefield, create a zero one green plant creature token for each land you control. Meaning you're gonna have a lot of, a lot of plants, a lot of plants. Uh, specifically, if you get every single land you have, then you're gonna have 37. Well, 38 because of Dryad Harbor. But if you play Awake in the Woods, it means you're gonna have even more. But ramp package is gonna be insane. I mean, you got crop rotation to get your Nykthos. You got three visits, Sky Shroud claim. Uh, where is it? Ramp, rampant grow, nature's lore, Nisa's pilgrimage, explore, uh, emergent sequence, broken bond. Well, that thing also destroys artifacts and enchantments. But yeah, but what are we gonna be doing? Cause once we kind of run out of gas, well, you have stuff like rude awakening. Thing, which is unta either untap all lands you control or until end of turn lands you control become two two creatures that are still lands meaning your lands become big little two twos which then you could just swing out with them whatever i i swear there was the yeah, it was uh yeah life and limb uh all forests and all saplings are one one green sapling creatures in forest lands in addition to their other types meaning all of your lands now become creatures that you can attack with so then whenever a land enters they, they get big and then you can start swinging with stuff so why why wouldn't you why wouldn't you do something like that but yeah we have stuff like natural order and defense of the heart which are some of my favorite cards out there because neat because they both grab creatures from your deck smack them on the battlefield we have heroic intervention because obviously what would be a green deck without heroic intervention we have Exploration, another additional land on each each of your turns. We have Blanchwood Armor, which makes creatures really big, depending on how many forests you control. Oh. And yeah, we have Lignify and Song Song of the Dryads to get rid of those pesky other creatures you have. 
Also, Wilderness Reclamation, because a lot of our lands are going to become creatures, and a lot of our creatures are lands. So at the beginning of your end step, untap all lands you control, which is great because obviously you're going to untap your creatures as well because they're that. Yeah. Um, Gear Port Orrery, uh, for the each player may play an additional land on each of his or her turn. At the beginning of each player's upkeep, that player has no cards in hand. That player draws three cards because you're going to be playing every single card you have because you're going to have the mana for it. You're going to be playing your mana. Yeah. Also, Emerald Medallion to make your stuff cost a little less because you are sitting at an average mana cost of 3.29. So let's bump it down by one just in case. You also have, are running the Great Henge because you need that. You... you you, you need that little bump with the 1-1 one, one counters and drawing cards and stuff. Obviously, your creatures aren't going to be too big to make this into basically just a two-drop artifact. But once you get it out, it's going to be great. Also, Lightning Greaves is a great card, as always. The better of the two of Swiftfoot Boots and Lightning Greaves. Way better. But, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. You're not running Soul Ring in this deck. Why? Because you don't need it. Because you already have Ramp for days days on end i mean decks on like a little less than 500 dollars, which you could honestly decrease pretty easily by like i don't know just taking out stuff like i mean the great henge is 70 dollars alone just replace it for like another ramp or something like that and uh, also forgot to mention for every single deck tech i've ever done if you guys want to see a what is it a not dumbed down a like a challenge version of it so like sixty dollars or less or something for a deck just let me know i really like doing them i actually did one for the alayla deck once because somebody wanted to make a not quite dumbed down version it was just a you know a budget that's that's what the word was they wanted to make a budget version of the deck so i went ahead and made a budget version of the deck for them and now they're sitting pretty with it so if you guys want a budget version of that just let me know but what uh, what happened oh but while you're down there please make sure to like and subscribe also comment yeah if you want a budget version of the deck if you want the deck list the actual like website of it i mean or just how your day's going i don't care but if you guys like the deck please let me know and just like that i'll leave you guys for the next deck tech